All right, so here it is, here it is, here you're doing some shiny window, and I thought I would go back into the training segment of the game with Merc Surf because my previous video was me way too doped up on dopamine to do anything coherently, but I want to give a more, I guess, slightly more professional review and reflection on the new content that was added to the game, specifically the tutorial. Now, first off, I do not mind that some things were a little bit missing in the tutorial because the this is Dirty Bomb's third tutorial for you know the fucking tutorial, and it actually misses a lot of content that the other tutorials did not have. In the first and second tutorial, you could learn how to crouch, you could learn how to jump, you could learn how to do some I believe wall jumping shit, and you could also play as aura, revive, heal, plant the C4, to repair the objective, all that sort of shit. And that is missing in this tutorial. However, I do appreciate that the new tutorial is a lot more memorable and you actually have these Merc Surf training videos. I think this is actually a pretty clever fucking idea because people tend to consume DB content much more than play the game. So this, all of it, very clever. It's easily, well, how do I say this? It is easier to consume because it's in a video format and it's in a short video format too and it's all very helpful and it's right here in the game. Beautiful. But time for the training segment. Hope y'all don't mind me just talking about this. Now, I won't just be reviewing this, but I'll also be reflecting on any potential lore and shit. This is my favorite bit. Look at this cutscene. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I hear, I hear sounds. I hear atmosphere. Come on. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Oh. See? This is cute. This is... Oh. I hope I see the building in the background for the rest of the maps. This is so cool, y'all. My main critique right now is that there's way too many fraggers here. Like, why? Show some new character models and shit. Now, I did turn off... What is up with these textures? I did turn off the dialogue because... You know, I don't want Mia to interrupt me while I'm talking. I do love her voice. Is she going to talk? Oh, thank goodness. All right. So while we wait for this to all load, let me just say that um, her voice actress, one of you commented on my previous video and told me that her voice actress is Amelia Tyler. I hope I said her name right. And I actually talked to Amelia last year on social media because I was playing Divinity Original Sin 2. Okay? I talk way too fast. I was playing Divinity Original Sin 2, and she played Malady and some other characters in the game. And I was really impressed with the voice acting that I just went on about the game. And she just stumbled across my Twitter account and just, oh, thank you. I really, and, yeah, yeah, nah. and she was really sweet, really nice, and it was completely unexpected. And to see her back in, back in action with Dirty Bomb, my, one of my favorite games ever, it's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit, you are pandering to me. Holy moly. Uh, Amelia, thank you so much. Uh, your voice acting is phenomenal. Your voice is so smooth and silky, and what you did with Mia is phenomenal. Holy shit, you do not understand how badly this game needed um, a character like this in the game. So thank you so much, and thank you the developers for hiring her and getting Mia as a, as a character. Holy shit. Now, in this section of the tutorial, if... When Mia is done talking, you can actually jump onto these benches and she'll tell you about um, these objects here. One thing that she told me was that the the Big Ben, apparently the bell inside is Big Ben and not the actual tower itself. Well, the more you know. And one thing, oh, I want to go into this. The map. Holy shit. I'm about to burp any second. I had Turkish food. Mm, turkey. Look, turkey's up there. Anyway, so what's interesting about this world map? is that all of the countries on here are where all of the current mercs are from except for three of them and this has led me to speculate that there's going to be three new mercenaries from the three countries here so we have no Fijian mercs we have no Polish mercs and we have no where is Brazilian mercenaries so, who wink, wink. But Brazil might actually be a nod to Red Soldiers because Red Soldiers is basically a prequel to Dirty Bomb. And aside from venturing out through London back in Red Soldiers, you could also venture out into all the way to Brazil. Like very, very cool shit. Uh, it's a shame that no, not many people play Red Soldiers no more or Tempo. God damn, I'm hoping for some Tempo Easter eggs. God damn, Turkish food fills you up. So, one thing I want to talk about is Fiji. 
there is I used I had a, a mercenary concept a very long time ago about a Fijian mercenary. So it's kinda surreal to see it. See like Fiji here and where else? We're in Poland. So either to me, either there's gonna be new mercenaries from Fiji, Brazil, or Poland, or that the mercenaries we have now will be revealed to be from these locations instead. I don't expect SD will add different maps into the different places around the world because it'd be a shame because what they have now in making everything take place in London is so clever. It just celebrates, you know, the place that they, that they live in right now. And it's something that they're familiar with. It's something that they can be faithful to. It also, yeah, if you jump on this, Mia will get mad at you. Oh goodness, I love details like this. So one thing I am a bit iffy on this new tutorial is that it doesn't have the same amount of education or information as the previous tutorials had for DB. And, you know, it's a goddamn shame. I'm hoping that it will expand at some point or at the very least have a bit more in more depth Merxer videos or to at least have the Merxer videos somewhere in the map, you know, maybe a uh, Skyhammer. Oh, I can't go back in. Skyhammer uh, sees a bunch of consoles or computers or screens and he can interact with them and show you exactly uh, what Merxer videos are on there or maybe some mercenaries as well. So you can go through the Merxer profiles. I swear to God, I swear to God, these are from Tempo. Like I said in my previous video, are they going to reuse this? Yeah, um, anyway, so yeah, I'm hoping that this opens up or something because if you go back, can we go back? God damn it. God fucking damn it. It says there's a canteen somewhere. These don't look like no canteen. This looks like a, yeah, it's a meeting room, so I'm guessing this is the canteen. Now, one thing I really, really, really wish that happens here, aside from meeting Vasily, is that Throughout the entire tutorial, you actually meet the other mercenaries. They're just sort of chilling, they're hanging out. You have Amy here just standing all grimacingly, like maybe eating like a fucking croissant or drinking coffee, and she's critiquing Vasily. Like, ooh, nice shot, or mm, poor shot. And you can actually interact with them, and Mia will go over their Merkserve profiles, tell you their, their real names, their ages, uh, what they do, their skills, their backstories, and this will make new players go, oh shit, these characters look cool, I want to play as them when I'm done with this tutorial. And maybe you can have all the medics in this section just doing some, I don't know, just chilling. Maybe Sawbones has his phone out and he's playing Red Soldiers. You know, just Thunder's in the, in the corner and having a crush on them or some shit. And, oh, oh lord, I gotta say this, um, birds and coffee. Now, if you noticed in the opening cutscene for the tutorial, you would notice that there's some birds around here. Now, it appears that the only living creatures that have survived the Dirty Bomb, the Dirty Bomb attack have been avians. And there is actually a huge avian theme going on in the game from Amy calling her uh, robot thing her little bird. From Phoenix being named after a phoenix. From, I, I could be wrong, Skyhammer's... What should I call it? His plane that deploys the airstrikes is named after a bird or has a bird-like shape. You have multiple birds throughout the entire map from crows to pigeons just hanging around. You have totally awesome chicken. You know, the chicken plays back in, oh, that map that got removed in Market. You also have Nader's obsession with eggs. There's a bird thing going on with DB that may or may not be brought up later. There's also, oh yeah, and there was also the idea of a jetpack merc from 2016 that... Got, yeah, Falcon! There was meant to be a mercenary named Falcon with a jetpack, but unfortunately they had to get removed from the game, I do believe. But there was also talk of a mass reviving mercenary alongside Falcon, and lo and behold, it became Guardian. So let's get, go oh yeah, forgot again! Coffee! I was going off about coffee in my previous video because coffee is a recurring joke in DB's little universe. If you notice that when you revive a mercenary as a medic, they will always compare being revived to be like drinking coffee. Even throughout all the maps you have different coffee places like Makapot and that new... No, that's not a new place. It's just a, Yeah, Makapot got a new uh, visual upgrade if you go to what I believe... Is it Terminal? Yeah, Terminal's first face. Like, ooh, And then that other coffee place at... Oh god, what is it called? I'm forgetting these map names in in highest in vault. Yeah, there's a, there's a coffee place there. So to me, the mercenaries, they just can't get enough of coffee. Uh, so Merc Serve has to provide the Merc's coffee because they're actually addicted to coffee. Also, oh, these coasters. God damn. SD, you should sell these coasters. Like, holy shit. Like, it shouldn't be too much work, right? 
some of these coasters are pretty fucking cool. I'm, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the world. Merc serve. I hope there's like a Merc serve app in the future or something. Uh, probably not. Whatever. What's the silly doing? You don't actually get to see him too much. Now I I do know. Oh wait, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? I didn't see this before. Who's that? <laughs> Why can't you let me zoom? Oh goodness. Oh goodness. I didn't notice. Oh shit, that kind of scared me. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, I gotta go over that too. Hold on. All right, let's get going. Let's get going. Vasil yeah, Vasilo, how you doing, boy? Yeah. So apparently, um, Phantom is like right here. So I'm gonna just check on that. Come on. I see you. I see you, boy. I see you. I see you, y'all. Yeah, I see you. And bye. See you, Jesse H. Pierce, age thirty-one. He's 31, 32, and then you have Vasily, who is Leonard Cummings. He's in his 30s. I forgot. I forgot his age. God damn. Should brush up on my DB lore. Then you also have the guns here. I noticed that some of them are completely unique to um to this section of the game, and there's some not so posh ones on the sides here. I love these containers, y'all. It's a shame that you cannot destroy these. Because you can destroy the screens in the other parts of the maps and shit. But whatever. She watching me? Me? Yeah. I have okay, I'm gonna burp again. Please excuse me. Let's just get over this. Oh, goodness me. So um I suspected when Mia was uh leaked back on the Reddit that she was gonna have a plot twist of a character because even the name Mia is can so easily be a you know, AI, you know, mission interface action you know, something. Plus, with the way Mia talks and the way that she is so professional and can command so many things within the within the tool itself, led me to to, to suspect that she is a, an artificial intelligence. Also, if you notice, when you ever kill the dummies here, it's a developer name. You have Bongo Boy, who was Ed Stern, the lead writer of the game. Along, okay, well, I can't kill anymore. All right, and then this is the part where I get to throw up my airstrike. Yes, correct. Yes. All right. Anything else in the Easter eggs? I hope I did not miss out on too much. God damn. So lonely. Oh, Vasily. Oh, in case you don't know, uh, Vasily, he's so sad. Like, you know, he's sad. My favorite voice line of his is when he starts crying to himself. Like, and then you start realizing that maybe he has a heartbeat sensor because he's lonely. Oh, Ooh, okay. Yep. And just disappears. Oh, yeah. Oh wait, this risk is something that not mix. Like, no, no, I don't think it's an Easter egg. I'm, I swear to God, I gotta be missing something. Like some really big stuff in this game. Okay, so she's proxy, she's just... I love that she just sort of pops out from the floor, doing her own job. Now, if there's anything I could critique even further, I wish that there were more mercenaries here. So that maybe you could at least... See them wall jumping, doing a long jump, uh, you know, doing some parkour shit, crouching, jumping, uh, see them revive each other, revive the dummies. There were some revivable, there was a revivable dummy section in the first tutorial for the game with Aura in the last phase of the game, I believe. And you had to balance out playing the C4, killing dummies, and reviving your teammates. Okay, okay, okay. So, in my last video, I did say, I did ask if Proxy was a hologram or not. Turns out she is not a hologram. She's actually just being protected by me. Where is Mia? Are you Mia? You're not Mia. Who the fuck are you? Do you see? Oh. Mm, hold on. Let me take a good look at your face. That ain't Mia. That is... I don't know who the hell you are, sir. Who the hell are you? Is that a pompadour or the hat? Do you see him? Kind of creepy. Anyway, uh, let's get moving. So, uh, yeah, here's SD being SD. Camp Corner, haha, and AK 47 graffiti, haha, and then here's them being horny. Okay, Salsition, <laughs> ranks further. The big. Oh. Oh, SD. Oh, SD. Um, these are the old dummies! Why is it. I... Are these fake guns or something? 
Also, yeah, in this uh, alleyway, I completely missed it. There is some missing posters, I believe, or award posters. I went over my last video that um, I would have loved it if maybe in this Dirty Bomb alternate history from our own. Oh, she has animations. Oh. <laughs> That the developers actually work for Merc Serve and not Splash Damage. Or that Splash Damage is part of Merc Serve and it's just a, a team of, uh, I don't know, Merc Serve employees. Hey, how you doing? Who's this? That's Spock. Uh, cop? I don't know who Cop is or Spock. Electric Sheep, yeah, Electric Sheep. Matt Bot, I don't know who Matt Bot is. Noodle Bar. Inscrutable. That's been here for a long time. I was hoping that uh, SD would actually update this place. Because they updated all the other stores in the game. The only other establishments that have not been updated are... Is that phone shop? And a pie and mash place. I could be wrong. And there's Coley here. Yeah, it makes me wonder, like, why Coley? Of all things. Like, you put Phantom here or something. <laughs> like, he's stuck. And, yeah, we're done. That should have been a generator. Like, just saying. Just saying. That's all. And then I guess we're done with this. Also, one thing I want to bring up... Oh, my voice is pumped up. One thing I want to bring up with this poster is... How is Skyhammer already there when he's first being introduced to Merc Serve? Like, might be a bit of a continuity error, or I could be wrong or something. And also... Looks like Mr. Jesse H. Pierce here has a crush on Elizabeth Wells. Damn. I did get comments from y'all, my previous video, and I've also seen this from the forum and Reddit, that he's pretty much, Phantom, he's pretty much just fucking Deadpool, but unlikable. That's it. It's just, it's just what Phantom is. Now what else? What else did I miss around here? What else should I talk about? Anything here? No, 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 book meeting, Friday. Yeah, there's Nader in the background. I'm not sure if that is a photoshopped image or if that's one of those big cardboard posters that they got. Now, who else? Who can I recognize in here? I can't see anything. I don't have my glasses on. What else? Hmm. I was hoping there'd be like a pop-up on, on the camera section here because in the assault course, you could actually see proxy just sort of pop up. Okay, what else is here? What else am I missing? Maybe you can interact? Nope, can't interact with that. Can't do that. More cop. Huh. That looks like the umbrella symbol from Resident Evil. And Merc Serve has their own coffee machines. Goddamn. So, oh, I love this detail. Look. Only three people are allowed in the elevator, and your squad consists of three people. Mm-hmm. Makes me wonder, how did Skyhammer get here? Because if you look at the ending cutscene, when you're done with the tutorial, it looks like Merc Serve is on a separate island or something. I don't know if Skyhammer was flown in, he used his own plane, or he has his own car, because, you know, there is parking here. Yeah, so, yeah. So, overall, this tutorial is actually pretty fucking good. Um, for me, it plays to Dirty Bomb's strength so much, which is their writing and their characters, which, to me, has always been under-realized in this game. It's always felt like the writing and the creativity behind DB always feels so much bigger than what the game can provide for it. So, I'm hoping to see SD capitalize on the characters that they got, because this is a social media generation, this is an internet era, and it's a place where... People love to share, people love to talk, people like to show off, and people love characters. SD, I don't think they realize exactly how good they got it with um, their writing team and how, how great the characters can be. Like, y'all, people will play Overwatch just for a certain character. People will play TF2 just for a certain character. People will talk about a fighting game because of a character and for lore because of a character. And it's just free marketing. It's free marketing. People will just not shut up about fun and creative shit. So, there's that. Yeah. Yeah, so, overall, great tutorial, great everything. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope it causes some discussion. And thank you to SD for improving. 
like Jesus Christ. So I found everything to be good. I just hope things get more accessible for newer players to learn how to experience Dirty Bomb to its fullest potential and enjoy the game. And anyway, I'm about to burp again. This looks like weed. Oh, I burped. Oh my goodness. Have a great day, y'all. Just have a great day. Drink lots of water. Eat plenty of Turkish food. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.